In February 2009, the Union for Reform Judaism sent three representatives on a nothing but nets observation trip to Kenya. Their mission was to witness and take part in the delivery of insecticide treated bed nets to help stem the tide of malaria that rages in refugee camps throughout Africa. Nancy Solomon and Stephanie Gary, board members of the Union for Reform Judaism, and Rabbi Marla Feldman, director of the Commission on Social Action of Reform Judaism, accompanied Adriana Logalbo, Nothing But Nets coordinator for the United Nations Foundation. Flying over Dadaab, the largest refugee camp in the world, with a quarter million people, one gets a clear picture of just how stark life is in that equatorial desert of sand, red dirt, and scrub. Three camps comprise this vast expanse of humanity, Ifo, Hagadera, and Dagahali, each with 70 to 100,000 refugees and each overflowing with tens of thousands more than their capacity. Every day, hundreds more find their way to the camps. Most of the refugees at Dadaab are from Somalia, with some from Sudan, Ethiopia, and other troubled regions. Many have lived in Dadaab their entire lives, since the camps opened nearly 20 years ago. 50% of the refugees are children. Most are able to attend elementary school, but with the need for multiple shifts, there is a lot of free time for them with none of the typical youthful entertainment available. No balls, no games, no television. Girls have a particularly difficult life as they are obligated for household chores and the care of younger siblings, while their mothers have one child after another as long as their bodies can endure. Only a few are able to attend one of the two high schools in each camp. Daily living is grueling. It involves treks in 100 degree heat to the few existing water taps with jerry cans, washing by hand the few clothes they have with the little water that remains. Miles of walking to the bi-weekly World Food Program distribution or the periodic non-food items distribution centers to gather a mattress, a bowl, a blanket, whatever is available that month. Homes at the camps are generally made of twigs and mud. Most have mattresses on the ground for sleeping and little else inside. Occasionally, there is the journey to one of the health posts, each serving tens of thousands for a maternity wellness visit, vaccinations for the children, or to collect a bed net donated by nothing but nets. There is only one hospital in each camp with two doctors, a few nurses, and very meager shelter. But at least the bed nets used in the hospitals provide protection against the threat of malaria. It used to be the number one killer in this camp, but has moved to number five since the delivery of nets began. In each camp, there are targeted efforts to provide nets to the most vulnerable populations, those with children under five, pregnant women, and seniors. Teams of health workers and volunteers from the blocks go home to home to deliver nets. At each home, the net teams gather the neighbors around, explain the importance of using the nets, and volunteers actually set up the net for the residents to be sure they are used correctly. Once hung, the recipient is ushered under the net to applause and cheers by volunteers and neighbors. To date, the Union for Reform Judaism and its affiliates have raised over $325,000 towards a $500,000 goal. Last December, the Union's funds were used to deliver 17,000 nets for a refugee camp in Uganda, serving primarily Sudanese refugees. We are part of the UN Foundation's effort to entirely cover refugee camps in Africa, recognizing that refugees represent the most vulnerable of malaria's victims.
Life in Dadaab is one of abject destitution. People living in horrendous circumstances at the barest of subsistence levels, dependent on others for every morsel of food, every drop of water, and whatever meager shelter they could cobble together. Health circumstances are grim, with a cholera outbreak just beginning and a shortage of water. Despite their circumstances, families struggling to survive their exile exhibit extraordinary courage and fortitude as they work to improve the health and well-being of their community. Orphans gather together to raise younger orphans. Youth who have no reason to dream of a better life seek an education nonetheless. Doctors with few resources care for tens of thousands, and heroic UNHCR staff members risk their lives every day to care for the suffering refugees and children with absolutely nothing to call their own, find joy in their single possession, a bed net to protect them from the scourge of malaria. Because of the Union for Reform Judaism and the UN Foundation, they have nothing but nets. Amen, amen, amen,